G'day guys, welcome to Motorfields. I'm Rob Hamilton and that was my very first burnout ever. So you're probably up wondering why I just destroyed a perfectly good tyre. Today, we're changing the tyres completely. The Metzlers, they worked, they performed well. I was running them through the dirt, the Blangolay State Forest, which you would have seen in my previous videos. That's a Harley. <laughs> There's your Harley alarm. Is that yours? <laughs> anyway. Um, and they, they perform great. There's no issues. I've been scraping pegs side to side around the Nasho through some like tight bends and they, they handle very well. Going through the dirt, I just found you just decrease the tyre pressure by a few psi just to get some more grip out of the tyre. Other than that, they're a, they're a great tyre. They just don't, for me, they're just not aggressive enough. You know, I wanted something a bit more bah! going for the, uh, the post-apocalyptic aggressive vibe with uh, Mad Max styles. And these are the ones. I'll show you the tyre first, the before and after. And, uh, and then I'll show you the, uh, the new tire that we're putting on. Look at that! Yeah, yeah. Just on the outside, parking on the inside. <laughs> yeah, that's right. YouTube, meet Kev. He'll be changing my tire because I um I did I did something naughty to it. But it's like it's all it's all under it. Look at that. Look at that. And then look at this hole I made. Woo! That is. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but that is a hole right there. You can actually like... <laughs> Look at this. That's my tyre right there. Maybe 150s or something? 170s? One, one okay. These are the tyres I'm putting on anyway. The Scorpion Pirelli, or the Pirelli Scorpion Rally ST. Yeah, we got two sets of Street rallies. version. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> One's for another body customer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so that's them. One of these are mine anyway. But enough of this chit chat garbage. Let's see Kev get to work. Woo! While Kev's doing the front tire still, um, I'm just going to duck down to the bottle shop or the liquor store as you might know it and um, I'm just going to grab him some beers because it's his birthday. I didn't even know it was his birthday. So uh, let's do that and um, we'll wish him a little happy birthday, the legend. Woo! Already out having a cigarette. He, he works so fast. I must have been the biggest pain getting him to redo everything while I was doing all the B-roll for it. 
I was just like, yeah, cool, all right now, but just put the tire back on. All right, now take it off again and put it back on. Right. He deserves these. Happy birthday to you. Oh, baby. <laughs> Woo! I don't know what you drink, bro, so I was just like, let's get the most oh, potent well, thing. If it's beer, I'll drink it. <laughs> Thanks, Ledge. Where'd you go? All done? Yeah, all done. It's done. Let's check it out. Holy moly. Look at this thing. Man, the tires just set it off. That is sick. Yes. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. All right, let's do this. Let's get out of here. Can I fit through there? Thanks, Lord. Catch ya. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. So the tyres definitely feel a bit a bit hard, I guess, but I think that's just like the whole new tyre vibe. Um, the Metzler has just felt a lot softer compared to these, like the um, the bars just sort of want to swivel around and do it, do their own thing. But I'm pretty sure it's only temporary until, until the tyres break in, which usually take about 50 to 100 miles of riding. And during this time, you sort of just want to bank nicely warm the tires in a little bit and then just keep on like you know increasing speed as you're going through some twisties or something like that making sure not to go too flat out as soon as you get them on because whoo you will low side and your life will suck how's that park i hear people beeping i don't know what's going on everyone's crazy man everyone's crazy can't handle this but yeah they feel nice they don't feel they don't feel bumpy they don't feel rough they feel quite smooth. I've like I've only ridden them for you know about 10 minutes. <laughs> we're about to hit. We're going to hit 80 kilometers an hour. So I'd like to see how how noisy they are. If there's any noise at all, I don't feel like there will be. They feel very. They just feel very smooth. They feel like a nice smooth tire. Now I don't know a great lot about tires and stuff like that. I'm an auto electrician by trade, but tires weren't really a thing that I got into. These are uh, these Scorpion Pirelli Rally STRs high in um, silica, the compound. I hope I said that right, who even knows. But that means basically that you get you get a bit of mileage out of them. They're not so soft, they're not so they're not so hard either, but they're just gonna be they're just right. They're just great for all-round riding in your wet, on your dry, in your dirt. Like I rode with the uh, TKC 80s on one time, I was on a scrambler, and that was the first that was the first sort of like knobbly tires I ever I've ever ridden with, and it was um and like you know they felt fine in the dry, they felt fine cruising around they're a little bit like they're a little bit bumpy i sort of dug that vibe there a little bit of like a on the road that's cool but um it ended up, ended up raining that night and i remember taking off from the lights and i was in second gear and i just went to like you know move i, was, I wasn't going too hard i was going nice and slow and up there i just noticed not, I, was, I wasn't moving anywhere and basically the back tire was just just spinning constantly zero traction and that scared the bejesus out of me so i did some research and basically i found a nice review on both the pirelli scorpion rallies and the pirelli scorpion rally strs which stands for street which is what i have the rallies are really you know they're really chunky real aggressive they looked awesome but basically the review was that on the road at high speed they'll they'll move all over the road um it was at one point they were even leaning around a corner and the whole back end kicks. I'll link you the video because it's it's a good watch if you're if you're trying to decide which which style of um, tire to go with. This tire just it was just me. It was my vibe, you know. It just covers my style of riding. I'm I'm doing a lot of on road. I'm not doing a lot of off road, but when I do, I like I want to I want to go pretty hard, you know. And they look good. They look great. They look like an, a great aggressive tire, and they're just an all round well performing thing. So I'm doing 80Ks now and it doesn't even like this, there's probably like a tiny little, like little buzz, but like nothing, nothing to really throw you off. Nothing, um, yeah, nothing to put you off buying these. If you're gonna do them, like, they just feel like, they just feel like normal tires, really. I'll do a review later on and I'll talk about, um, I'll just show you how guys, how, how they perform in the dirt. 
and uh, we'll get some like we'll get some sick off-roady type you know type vibes going on and um, I'll chat about I'll chat more about it then and give you my give you my insight let's just say at 500 kilometers or something that's it for me guys thanks so much for watching um, I'm Rob Hamilton you've been watching Moto Fills and hopefully hopefully you took something away from this and not just you know me showing you a big burnout <laughs> at the start um, big thank you to Fuel Motorcycles who have supplied me with all the all the cool gear that was in that in that little sequence. But yeah, hit like, hit subscribe if you're keen, and hit that little bell icon so you're notified for when I when I um, upload videos soon. Hopefully on a weekly. I'm really trying this weekly thing. It's hard, but I'm doing it. And right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take some photos on my bike because it's the first time I've actually done it since the build and I'm so keen and they're gonna be on my Motorfields Instagram so head over there check them out and um, have a merry jolly good time. Alright legends, ride safe, peace!